Now putting it in is going to be pain in the butt. What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing the one of the first mods to uh, my car, which involves taking the center console piece out. Now this whole part right here, all the way to this back cup holder, is one part. And it only takes about, I think it's like three screws to take it off. So I decided to make a video out of it um, for anyone who owns, a, I think it's like 2005 to 2007 Focus. I mean, I don't know about the generations before. I know the ones after redesigned like almost completely. Um, but yeah, so it starts by taking these little cup holder inserts out. And for my car, since I have this in here, my little change holder. So we're gonna get all that out of the way so we can unscrew everything. So. Now, before we do anything else, you're going to want to take this handbrake, pull it up as far as you can get it, which is about there, usually, and um, then you're going to want to, where's my keys? This wasn't a well thought out thing. Pay no attention to the duct tape on my key, which is ripping apparently. Oh boy. I have a new key coming in. This key broke where it holds onto the keychain. So you can either stick your key in the ignition, turn it to accessory mode, put on the brake, and do that. Now your car is gonna make a lot of noise and it won't let you take your key out when you do that. So there's another way you can do it without all of that noise and all of that annoying stuff going on. There's a way you can move this without putting your key in the ignition and doing that and having the ding, 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 all that going on. So let me show you real quick. All right, so here's how you do it. Instead of sticking your key here in the ignition, you may notice a small circle right here around your transmission. You just want to take like, I use a small screwdriver. They have like special tools to do this. I just use a screwdriver, stick it in this little hole, pry it up, boom. Take this little circle thing off. So you have to stick it in here, push this down, and move this at the same time. So let me do that real quick. Okay, apparently it still makes the noise. So I guess what you could do is disconnect the battery. This is now mobile. You can now move it back and forth. Try not to put it in park or you'll have to, you know, fiddle with the key and do all that. There's a screw here, a screw here, and I left it loose. I've done, I've removed this before, and I left it loose. There's a little hole in the back. You're going to want to remove it, and there's a screw right down there, and that is the three screws that are holding this long piece of plastic in place. All right, so before you go removing this huge plastic uh, center console piece, what you're gonna need to do is get this center console out of the way. So what you wanna do is grab, you'll see there's an outline of the piece of plastic. You're just gonna pull it right off of the clips. Don't worry. You're gonna feel like you're gonna break it. You're totally fine. So now, there's gonna be two screws right here that connect this center console to the whole like car. You gotta remove this center console to get this plastic piece off. And there you have it. Your center console, there it is in frame is off everything's still inside still closed neat little uh i guess doug demiro would say quirk that you can just take the center console off like that 
Another thing that you want to remember to do is keep track of your screws and where they go because when you put it back together it will make it a lot easier. And when you get back here I would suggest scooting the, the seats all the way forward as they can go um, because that would make it easier for you to move around here. I'm a tall person. I'm about like six foot, six one, something like that. And uh, with the seats all the way up, I have plenty of room, which is surprising for a small car. So next what you wanna do is remove this screw up here and the two screws up in the cup holder. All right, so here comes the fun part where you're going to lift this big hunk of plastic over the transmission, over the handbrake, which is a tricky thing because you have to kind of move this around for it to fit over the handbrake and the seats will catch it as you're pulling it up and then putting it, putting it back is even worse. But let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna have to lift it up. Lift from the back. Now you've got it pulled up a little bit. Pull the handbrake boot. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. The handbrake boot over the handle. So it's just kind of there. Pull it up. And there you go. There's your center console piece thing. And now we can just lay this aside because we're going to move on to the actual mod and what the reason that I took this apart. Oh, put that in the back seat. There was probably an easier way to do that. So now is where it gets up close and personal. Sorry for the annoying beeping because I have to leave the driver door open. So what you're going to do, there's a little screw here. I believe it's a hex, hex screw or hex bolt, whatever you want to call it. That you need a, like one of those silver hex tools or a hex bit for your screwdriver to undo this and take this whole knob off. All right, so now I got the screw out. It's a little bitty thing and you don't want to lose it because I almost lost it once and it was a pain in the butt. Now, when you are pulling the shifter knob off, you want to be very careful because there's a little wire I'm trying to find it. Okay. See that little connection right there? That is for your overdrive. And you don't want to mess the wire up for that button. Be very, very careful. See? I pulled it out. Now putting it in is going to be pain in the butt but now that we have that removed pull this whole knob off now I'm not sure that this little rod is supposed to come out with it but it comes out with mine uh, when I watched how to take your center console off for a focus like this uh, the rod he had stayed in that so if your rod comes out, just don't lose it. Um, but if it stays in there, I don't think it's broken. So now that that all is finished and out of the way and everything's put where it needs to be so I don't lose it, <clears throat> we're gonna be installing this, which is a shifter boot. Usually only put on manual cars. Yes, my car is an automatic, but who cares? I'm gonna put it on there anyway. So I think what I'm going to do is thread this through and now I'm just going to 
pull that up because I might need to grab might need to go out and grab a zip tie to hold this on so that it doesn't slide down and I'm constantly having to fix that so yeah all right so apparently I don't have any zip ties I thought I might um, so we're gonna run and go get zip ties right now all right so mask up and uh, let's go find some zip ties I think I just found the hardware I'm not seeing any zip ties I may have to go somewhere else of course I could be a complete idiot and be in the wrong section it's really awkward in public when you're like making a vlog and stuff and there's other people because they think you're crazy because you're talking to a camera and they said it's all the way back here and to the right all the way down and to the right I went all the way down and to the right oh there they are I feel so dumb all right so I told you I was a big dumb idiot it was in the aisle that I was in that's a little bit further to the left make sure you pull it as tight I want to make sure I pull it as tight as I can that way it's nice and snug all right so I jerry rigged the light so you can see what I'm doing uh, you should see this kind of goes into this hole right here but this wires in the way that's for your overdrive make sure you stick that through the hole all right so what I did while I was fidgeting with the wires kind of pulled it out to the front here because it's gonna go right in this plug. Now you can see it better now that the transmission's in park. So what you wanna do is be very careful. You don't wanna break this connection wire. And you wanna slide it right into that plug, but you gotta be really careful. So I'm gonna use both hands to do that. But just so you know, this little connection right here, that little plug goes right in there. And there you have it. Once you push it in, you should hear and feel like a little bit of a click. And that's telling you that it's in. Now remember when putting this big plastic piece back in, you're going to need to fidget around with the seats, the handbrake, uh, the shift lever. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. So I figured you couldn't see much in that last part of the video because it was dark. But there is the aftermath. Looks nice. I like the look of it. Kind of just cleans this look up. So that's the first mod to my focus. See you next time.